Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, you can tell us like your age group, your dance school, dance organization, all that. Um, so I'm Ella and I'm under 15 and I dance with Skull and Kike Moore and I'm with CLRG. Oh, perfect. Um, so why don't you tell us um, your proudest dance achievement you've had so far in your career? Tell us a little um, bit about that. <laughs> I think probably my proudest achievement was when I got second in the world this year. Um, obviously, it was a fantastic achievement and I was overwhelmed by it it was absolutely incredible and considering I got two globes the year before and then um, I didn't podium on the third year which mm -hmm. I, was, I was very hard on myself for that um, but getting back on the podium I was absolutely delighted and I had all my I had my mum and my teachers and my dad with me so we just it was just such an amazing such an amazing so moment. cool that is yeah. awesome well congratulations again because that happened this year so you are yeah. reigning number two in your age group. That is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so we have a couple questions here from our followers, actually. Um, they asked some of them. And one of them is from at dance lily underscore zero six. And she wants to know, how old were you when you started dancing? I don't really remember an exact age. And I think that was because, obviously, my mom is my dance teacher and, um, and I think I was kind of just born into it. Yeah. I properly, I properly started um, classes around the age of two or three. Okay. I did, I did like running around the <laughs> running around the floor yeah. and to do a reel. But yeah. um, no, that was probably two or three, I would say. Okay. Do you remember yeah. if you like initially liked it, or did it take you a while to get into it a little bit? Um, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I <laughs> went along. But um, I. I absolutely like loved I used to watch all the older girls being um, like dancing in my class okay. and then I'd like, go and try up and join them and I'd be like oh look at me like I can do this and I, I just remember <laughs> like loving like loving the steps and the music and everything I was just so drawn to it okay like, yeah, yeah that's awesome yeah um so you just mentioned that your mom is your dance teacher and <laughs> one of our followers did ask um their uh, at Irish Dancers underscore fan page O two, they want to know: Do you enjoy having your mom as a dance teacher? Um, funnily enough, I get asked this question a lot. Um, <laughs> I really, I do. We have our differences, definitely, and there's times where, you know, we just disagree on everything. We can't get the steps right, and I'm doing this wrong, and da da da. da. But at the end of the day, she is my best friend. She is my number one supporter, and. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have any of the successes I have without her. Um, she motivates me every day. So that's, that's very fun. And in classes as well. Like even if, even if we are arguing slightly, um, mm -hmm. she always brings out the best in me. So yeah. I think she, she knows exactly, like she's so experienced in this. So she knows exactly what she's doing. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. That's such a great bond to have too. And yeah. something very unique to have. Um, does any of your other family members dance by chance or is it just you? Um, it, all my mum's brothers and sisters danced, and okay. yeah, and um, <laughs> my brothers and sisters danced, but um, they didn't um, carry it on. I was the only one who carried it on, and my mum was the only one who carried it on. So oh. that, I, I thought that was like very funny. Yeah, but, um, yeah. So it's been in my it's been in my family for a really long time because my mum's mum danced as well. Wow. So, okay. Yeah. Wow, that's very interesting. Very cool. Yeah. Um, so at G strong Allen wants to know how often do you train and for how long approximately? Um, so I attend classes, um, every day, pretty much. Um, so, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday, and then on Monday and Friday, and they're two to three hours long. And then on Monday and Friday, um, I'll do practice in my garage. So I've got like floors and mirrors there. And um, we also have like extra privates and things. So um, I just try to cram in as much as I can. And okay. um, then like stretch and roll out during like when I have downtime or whenever. Mm -hmm. yeah. So do you do any other like exercise fitness or like stretch classes um, on the side or is it just mostly strictly like training in, in the studio um well I go to the gym so I have a personal trainer and I go on okay. Wednesday, Wednesday and Friday after school and his name's Dave and he's oh he's he's really amazing and he's, <laughs> well, he's gotten me so far honestly Aww. and um yeah I do do a few I do do like a few um 
what I did a few ballet class like ballet bar classes and that was to help with like my obviously I don't do ballet but um, (laughs) that was to help with like my points and like the stretching of my feet so I just thought that it was a good way to like just improve my light dancing as well because that hasn't always been my strongest point (laughs) okay well that's awesome that you can do that and have something else to you know yeah Yeah. so um another question we have here is uh do you do any activities outside of irish dance that's from at irish dancer 1310 um i actually do so um as well as yeah as well as irish (laughs) dancing um i do contemporary dance so i do um, contemporary, lyrical, and commercial, which is like hip hop, oh. street kind of dance. Um, so that that's all in school as well. That's I don't take any extra classes. Okay. Um, but then I also I've loved acting ever since I was younger, and I I had an agent, but then dancing took over. Um, <laughs> and then um, I also really enjoy singing, and so yeah, I have a lot of different different kind of activities that yeah. all performing though <laughs> that's fun that's fun yeah so that kind of leads into the next question so if you didn't do dance what other sport or activity would you do that's from at underscore kira McHugh underscore so i would probably take as i said before i'd probably like really pursue um that extra dance that i do i mm-hmm. take that as like a full-time kind of thing um or acting because i would like to pursue that when i'm older but i think i for some reason i've always wanted to do netball like, i don't know if you have it in america i don't think we do can you no. explain that a little bit <laughs> so it's um it's, it's slightly like basketball but um okay. you, can't, you can't move with the ball and um, you have two different teams, and it's usually seven players. But for some, I don't know. For some, I was in my school netball team when I was younger, and I just always enjoyed it. So if I didn't do dancing, I'd probably um, do netball. Okay, yeah. awesome. Um, so we'll get into some of the more dancer questions here. Um, at Irish Dancer Ten wants to know uh, what made you decide to do a blonde wig instead of brunette, like your natural hair. If that's your um, natural hair, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, this is funny because lots of people are like, when I take my wig off, they're like, you're a brunette, what's going on? <laughs> um, but I don't know. Ever since when I was really young, like I'm talking two or three, um, I had like bright blonde hair, like it was beach blonde. Um, and then when I was five, I cut off all my hair. Oh my goodness. <laughs> My mom came home from class and she was like, oh my God. So I got <laughs> and scissors and cut off all my hair. And yeah. then uh, after that, it just, it grew really dark. And, um, but I, I still like my natural hair color, but I don't know. I think it just worked with kind of my, the blonde wig worked with the dress that I was having. And I've, gotcha. and I've always had it since I was younger. So I think it was just kind of a continuation of that. Okay, cool. So would you say you have like a go-to dress color or you kind of just go with the flow and change it up or what's your Uh, strategy there? (laughs) So when I was younger, I was, um, I had, I kind of had random kind of dresses. They were all, they were all mainly pink. I never had to say in that. I never had to say in that. Um, They were all mainly pink and then they were pink up until um, under 14. So at the British Nationals last year in under 14, I came out in green and red and when <laughs> everyone was like what's going on because I've been in pink ever since I was younger yeah um, and I never in a million years if you had told me I'd been in in green and red for the British Nationals I would have actually laughed at you like I would have, <laughs> I would have never imagined in myself in that oh my gosh but, yeah I don't know I love I love like the current dress that I have and the previous dress I had I think they're just such like they're the colors that really work together and I always leave it up to Gavin because he just knows exactly what he's doing. He's so good. Yeah. Very cool. Um, let's see here. Um, who is your inspiration? That's our next one. And that's from at Kaylee underscore Gilbert underscore Webster. (laughs) Wow. So, um, I would say definitely my mom, um, because I got into dancing because, because of her. Um, and she, she works with me every day and she's amazing in what she does so I definitely say my mum but also my other dance teacher Mari and all of my other dance teachers because I see the amount of work that they put in and I see like 
how how much they've kind of progressed like over the years so i because i've known them since i was obviously very young mm -hmm. um and i've i've got a really close bond with them and so i i just think they're such amazing people to look up to and they're real role models and yeah. obviously mari was michael flatley's right hand right hand woman for wow. for ages and ages years and years and okay. um and I, she has so much knowledge. She is like such a wise woman to listen okay, to. Okay, yeah. And so definitely. Yeah. And so any advice she gives me, take it on board straight away. And she's she's very inspirational. Oh, that's awesome. You have so many inspirations. That's yeah. Awesome. Um. So what's your favorite thing about Irish dance? And what do you like most about it? If you could choose one thing. Oh, that's a good question. Um. <laughs> I really enjoy as well as well as obviously dancing um, mm -hmm. I really enjoy the social aspect because I have like all most of my friends are from Irish dancing and mm -hmm. I've met so many new people through Irish dancing and I've had some of the closest friend, friends through it and like because you obviously compete together and you see each other at competitions and you know exactly you know you can kind of share what like what's happening like I, I think that's a much stronger blonde stronger bond than you have with anybody else any of your other friends and um i really really enjoy that and obviously going to competitions and like seeing all my friends it's just it's so much fun yeah yeah, yeah. so do you have like a ton of friendships from overseas for you or do you have mostly your england friends and your dance school friends or is it kind of all over um it's kind of all over like obviously i've been to a lot of competitions around the world and i've obviously through the world I've met a load of people like I have like one of my really good friends Liam you know Liam Costello yeah yeah yeah, yeah he's one of my really good friends and obviously okay. he's Australian yeah we have like um a lot I have loads of American friends like they're they're so kind I really <laughs> they're really, really lovely and um I have obviously have a lot of friends like from England obviously mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um but yeah, everywhere. You meet so many new people through Irish dancing. So yes. many new people. So yeah, you, definitely you, cool that way. Yeah, you get you get really close with them. So Yeah. Um, so have you ever been injured before or do you have any tips and tricks to get through an injury if you've ever had one? Um, so about well, it's only kind of finished like um about a year ago. Um I suffered with severs in my heels. Okay. So it was a growing problem and I had it for about two to three years and it was where the tendon in my foot um it was sh it wasn't growing at the same rate as my bone so it was pulling on the back of my heel which made it like excruciating to walk at, like mm -hmm. less than a dance and um I know it's quite a common problem because lots of people obviously your bones grow and they grow at different rates um but I made sure I stretched it out as much as I could and I also used like um, ice packs and bottles of ice water to roll them out and I elevated my foot as much as I could so I'd say like if you're struggling with an injury like that or if you've hurt your ankle I would say obviously get an expert opinion because you don't want to do any self-diagnosis before you <laughs> before you go off and do whatever right. um, but I would say ice it 100% elevate it because that will make the biggest difference even if you're just sitting in bed and you have like pillows and you're putting your foot on the pillow it will make all the difference and a lot of rest as well because some kids have bad injuries and then they go straight back to class and all of a sudden it's injured again but you're thinking you didn't you didn't give it enough time to rest properly that's that's the main advice I would give probably okay that's yeah. awesome um so how was that like going through training with kind of that setback with your foot there um, it was extremely difficult. There were times where I, I literally, I could not walk down the stairs oh. and without it being like a pull every time I pushed down my heel. And it was really hard. It was really hard, but I tried to kind of, kind of just think, well, how can I get through it instead of moping about and being like, oh, my foot hurts, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I, I still went to classes, even if I couldn't, even if I couldn't dance for like, one or two of the dances I still went to classes or I put my trainers on because I didn't want to miss anything I didn't want to miss any of the days because I feel like if I just stayed at home and rested it instead of going to dancing and rest it I would have I just feel like I would have been a lot more of a setback than what I made it out to be 
Okay. Yeah, that's a very smart way to think of it. So, yeah.